Egunon, good morning, muy buenos días. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much, the regional minister and the other authorities and the government's representative. Thank you so much for allowing me to take part in the opening of this Congress. And as uh, Commissioner Schmidt has said, please allow me to congratulate the Basque government and, of course, the World Federation of Colleges and Polytechnics. Thank you. I do believe that. Thank you for to the Basque Regional Minister. I'm, I'm trying to say a few words in Basque. I, I apologize to the Basque Regional Minister for Education. I'm doing what I can here. Thank you so much for organizing this event. And fundamentally, because the protagonism being acquired by vocational education and training and the fact that it is so important is great for the Basque country in Spain vocational education and training is allowing us to rise to one of the challenges that our education system has which is the early dr school leaving dropout rate not only that but also if we want to move towards a more digital and sustainable model vocational education and training of course needs to play a greater role and in fact more so if we need to, to respond to the new jobs that are being created now and that will be created in the near future and that's why since uh, 2020 and the Spanish government, we've been working on modernizing and transforming vocational education and training. One of the first decisions that we took was to broaden the training areas that we offer. And they're now new, 130,000 new uh, slots for youngsters who want to attend vocational education and training colleges and for the first time in the history of Spain this year we have now over more than a million youngsters who are currently attending vocational education training courses but we haven't just left it there we've also set up a whole uh, uh, long uh, list of new courses new by education courses, careers guidance units, and also we're improving teacher training because what we're talking about and what we aim to do is to get our vocational education training based on more public-private collaboration that allows us to improve our productive fabric and respond to the requirements for um, technical uh, workers that are more highly skilled and also to meet uh, those demands over last year we've actually uh, set up 28 new uh, qualifications all linked to industry 4.0 digitalization which are the main requirements that we're seeing uh, needed in our productive fabric we've also set up a further 400 occupational uh, qualifications to do all of this it really of course is vital to do that uh, with the collaboration between the government of Spain and the governments of our regions and so I should like to once again repeat the incredible job that the Basque Country has done in vocational education and training. They've proven that theirs is a, a model of success and we've looked to the Basque successor stories that they've been implying here for many years. Now you, you may well know that we recently passed a new vocational education training act that improves previous legislation and actually that is a somewhat a, a copy of uh, the success stories and what's been passed here in the Basque country. One of the things that we've done to modernize vocational education and training was to integrate in one single of education and educational training a system 
the employment side of things and the studying side of things, so the dual training at the end of the day, because we thought that would be better to provide occupational itineraries for our workforce throughout the whole of their lives. So it's real lifelong learning. There's something that we also have to do as a country, and something that they've been doing in the bus country for many years is as I mentioned earlier, dual uh, vocational training. Actually, what that means is that uh, students can acquire practical and theoretical knowledge, both at college and in the company setting. So in this new world that our regional minister just spoke about, New worlds where the economy is going to be difficult, where employment policy is going to be difficult, vocation education and training is going to have a key role, and especially if we want to adapt our productive fabric to the urgent need of digitization and of course uh, with uh, climate change and if we want to meet the SDGs and the Agenda 2030 uh, goals. I think over the next couple of days in this Congress we'll be able to think about this. Has the globalization model reached a crisis point? The model that we've known over the last 40 years as a country. Spain is now re-industrializing because we need to not depend so much, especially on strategic sectors, for example. And this is something we've seen quite clearly over the last two years. But so as not uh, to depend on outsiders and face reindustrialization, what we need are more trained workers, better trained workers. And this for Spain actually is an opportunity, especially if we think of youngsters who have been uh, forced to go through many crises over uh, recent years. So there's a window of opportunity out there for us as a country. But let's not forget workers. Employees need new professional qualifications if they're going to be able to face this new world, which is uh, very much a digitalized and a robotics and automated world. We need to also attach more importance to the reskilling and upskilling of workers that are in employment throughout their lives, because I feel that this is the best way of eliminating precarious employment, but also to improve our labor relations and imp make new opportunities for the our country's workforce. I don't want to go on much longer. I know that you've got some brilliant speakers ahead of you over the next couple of days. I can say that as a country, there's still many steps to take to uh, reach uh, the level of other countries in vocation education training. But what I guarantee you is that the Spanish government's taken vocation education training very seriously. We're determined. We're, there are facts to prove our determination and we've got the funding to do so. We are currently uh, spending over 7 billion euros to uh, face all of these uh, challenges ahead of us. M much of this funding comes from next generation EU funding and this funding are going to allow us to give opportunities especially to the youngsters of of Spain. That's all I wanted to say. We're going to be learning a lot from your contributions. And as the regional minister said, I'm hoping that you will be able to uh, throw some light and respond to many questions that we have and that you enjoy San Sebastian and the Basque Country because it's well worth it. Thank you so much for coming. And I do remember, thank you. I couldn't remember to say that in Basque. Thank you so much. <laughs>